that's the military convoys held up over there too. Oh, look at this one. I didn't even see this guy off on the shoulder. Woo! Dang. Hopefully he's a, look at that, look, look at the, um, yeah, look at that. It must have been a direct hit right here. It was like watching a tennis tournament there. From the left to the right, back left, right as tornadoes touching down in Monroe County during Wednesday's storm brought those scenes. The winds strong enough to tip over several semi trucks right there, right on their sides, was just quite the sight. This was in Toma on Wednesday, and you can see the crashes caused quite the backup for travelers on the two lane highway. And this is the tornado that was responsible for those crashes and, well, just a whole lot more damage. Our crews were in Monroe. Row County today. As meteorologist Eric Menges, the wind was strong enough to tear down trees. We're just near Wyville at this point, and throughout the entire day, from what we've seen at some portions, it looks like the damage is nearly a mile wide and other areas more narrow, but the common thread is down trees everywhere and crews cutting and clearing roadways, even some areas on buildings and structures. I'm just so happy that everyone is okay. Um, it seems to be the neighbors are all um, had a lot of trees down, but seems to be structural damage is a minimal. Well, it was like kind of sprinkling, like coming down, because I guess it was raining like real hard in town. And then my daughter said the sirens were going off because she was in town at work. And then there was hail. And I said, well, it was nothing out here. And then all of a sudden, like, it started coming down real fast. So it's not just trees and building damage. The Oakdale Electric Co-op has been working on all these roads between Oakdale and Wyville, trying to clear not just down power lines, but damaged ones as well. Reporting in Wyville, meteorologist Eric Mangus, Fox 6 News.